Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Stationeers. Um, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Mr. Steve NK2BD and Gremlin235. Uh, thank you for your comments, guys. It's really appreciated. Uh, hopefully, the answers I gave you were useful. Um, so, yeah, uh, back in the game. As you can see, things have changed quite a bit since. Um, uh, last, what on earth has happened here? Oh, <laughs> I thought half my mountain had gone. It was just a video glitch. Jesus. <laughs> I thought I thought my save had screwed up. Let me, sorry. Uh, as I was saying, as you can see, there's been a few changes since we last played. I've put all this roofing in here. I'm slowly starting to enclose this area. I will get round to completely enclosing it, so I don't need to worry about storms blowing bits away. Um, this area I haven't developed yet for the Amy bot. I will be doing that sometime in the near future. Um, oh, let's come around here. I have also enclosed this area. I moved a couple of the. They are moved. I think it was this ice crusher, just so it's sort of symmetrical, like seeing uh, in the middle of the window. And you can see the tanks and things. I've added a couple of network analyzers or pipe analyzers. There's one there, one there, and one there, and that has allowed me to automate the filling of this pipe so if we look on here you can see the pressure is 2.78 so now when the pressure drops below 4 megapascals this pump switches on and fills up to 5 megapascals but it also checks that there's at least 100 kilopascals in each of these pipes so if they, either one of these drops below 100k that won't turn on purely to stop me getting an imbalance in the fuel in here because if one of them runs out it'll turn on regardless um, if you don't check um, there's fuel available or there's gas available um, it was also helped me uh, going forward when I start automating the um, processing of ices I can use these to analyze this to check the pressure in here and make sure we don't over pressurize these tanks um, that, that's why I did that and I've, again I've, I closed this a little bit just to make it a little better it also cuts out some of the noise if I get close to that you can hear it from the um, very noisy yeah combustion centrifuge and I've, that's running away just even that running away I want to do want to um, automate this so that it will shut down and dump its contents and then restart again without me having to come and do it every sort of hour or so um, don't know if I showed last time I've got a second deep miner uh, we can see from that window we have a uh, all queued. I may put a buffer of some kind in here. I haven't decided yet. Uh, let me just get out of the way of that noisy thing. The other thing I've done is I've moved my normal centrifuge and recycle it onto this roof. I don't really use them that often so they don't need to be easily accessible and they're in a bit in the way down there so I've moved them here for now. Um, I've also reworked all the piping or the chutes so now that everything comes up, goes through and if I quickly, bah, 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 where is it? There we go. Pop that off. You can see in here we have our sorters, stackers, all linked together. So everything comes up there. This is the iron sorter. If it's iron, it goes out the, let's go from this side, the right hand side into the SBD, SDB silo, sorry. Uh, if it's anything else, it gets passed along. This one's a copper. Copper goes into this SDB. Anything else gets passed along, and so on and so forth. Um, let me just quickly weld them back up before I forget. And uh, now I don't really need to do anything else with them. They're now set up and will run quite happily. So I've encased them and come down. So SPD wise we've got, I, oh I've put um, some walls and things up around here just to uh, again help improve it. I can't put anything over here because there's shoots there. How much iron we got? See we've got 20 stacks of 50 iron in there now. So that's a thousand iron I've got already. Um, so I've got iron, copper, gold, lead, nickel, Cobalt, silicon, silver, coal, and uranium. 
Um, I haven't finished doing the loop around yet for the stackers and the sorters. I need to get that done. Um, and then I will be adding to the end. Uh, there'll be um, volatiles, ice, um, oxide ice, nitrice, and water ice, which are the four main ices. Or four basic ices. Once you get a rocket going, there's some other ices, but I'll deal with them separate at the time. Um, I've got little labels up here. The way you get that is enough. You can just pull one off. That's the easiest way. Um, I think it's a crowbar. Yeah. One of the problems I had with these is it's, this is just a sign, by the way. Uh, sign kit. You make them in the auto lathe. Uh, they don't cost much. Uh, let's have a quick look. There you go, 8 grams of iron. Uh, and to put them up, obviously you put them in hand, right click and place them on the wall. Now, it's difficult to see which way is up. But, in this view, uh, how can I show it as I showed somewhere? See at the bit bottom here, there's a bit of a line. That is the bottom. And it can be in any orientation. So best thing to do is sort of look at it in front of you. And then try and place it, and you can actually see it on there. Um, and then to label, to put a, something on your label, on your sign, so you use a labeler, turn on your labeler, left click, and I can't remember what this was. Uranium, I think. And it will auto size the text to fill the uh, space available. Um, that's it, that's what I've done here. Um, other changes I've made. So one of the latest updates has been to do with... There's no storms coming out, okay. Is to do with... Um, actually, no, before I get to that one. What I had to do... Uh, to do let's pull some of this up. Is I had to upgrade all of my cabling on my main power bus from the batteries to heavy duty cables. Um, the light cables just weren't cutting it. They, they blew up. I don't know if I can get one to blow if I try it. Have we got any cabling on me? Yeah, let's see if I can get... Let's just do a little experiment to show you what happens. Right, I'll do it here instead. I'm just trying to demonstrate what happens if you've not noticed it before. If you overpower these cables, they go bang. So let's just turn it off to start with. Uh, split so right for check cable when I turn this on there you go it's blowing up and that right, turn it off again and um, that is because that cable can't take the power that's going down it where these ones can and you can end up with a situation where even though the power is going from this into there let me just get rid of that and replace it with the heavy cable. Even if you think the power's not running down it, so if we look at the, say, I don't know, here, where we are not actually getting any power out that um, solar panel at the moment. Do it again, watch our cable. It's still blown, even though the power from this is running out of there straight into the batteries. And just leave it on now. And it's not flowing into the solar cell, but because it's on the same network, it will blow. Um, just something to be aware of. You might be wondering why cables blown, and it just means that something on that network has drawn more current than these light cables can handle. In which case, it's time to upgrade them. Let's go replace that. Um, it might actually run off like a shotgun, so it can, it can happen that uh, if you've got a long stretch of those light cables, they'll go off one after the other and stop blowing one after the other. And that's what was happening um, pretty much all the way through my base. A good 10, 15 of the cables blew up before one blew that actually stopped uh, the power to the batteries. Which was slightly frustrating. And it meant I had to go then run around replacing all of these cables. These ones are light because they're just coming off that power distribution unit purely for the airlock. This one's heavy, that's a feed into there. This one's heavy because it's coming through 
and then out here and it comes through my base and out here as well and then this feeds everything over there um, this is light because now I have separated so that's the main bus I've got a transformer which not only separates the net and um, the network side of it so for identifying equipment on that network it also separates the power so now um, this is isolated from that except you know the power coming through but if that blows it's not going to affect this or if this blows it's not going to affect that and the same here this one's running the ice crushers the drills the combustion chamber this one's running all my sdbs um, the sorters and the stackers and this little computer so they're all separate networks now just to try and save having to replace all of the cabling with heavy cabling that replaced enough as it was it took quite a while to do so yes that's that um, let me put those grates back down when I find them I know it's the wrong colour I'm not too bothered uh, where did I get these other ones from? Oh. Huh. I don't know. I picked them on the Forb from. Oh, they must have been in my inventory already. Okay, well, they can go down here for now. I don't need access to this at the moment. Um, something else I've done is I moved this printer over by one. I couldn't get through that gap, it was annoying me. So I've just moved it over by one. There's still plenty of space here. What I'm going to do though, when I'm here, because I don't know when the storm's going to come. Um, let's stick this back in here. Okay, so just makes nothing else left lying around. No. Um, so the questions that was being asked were why use a vending machine as you see I've got rid of it um, I've still got the vending machine on me yeah let's just drop this down quickly build it I think it's just iron sheets plastic sheets And screwdriver. Um, turn it on. And for the sake of demonstration, I'll dump some bits in it. Right, the reason you can use a vending machine is um, it will hold up to 100 stacks, but it won't auto stack things. So I think I mentioned previously. If you put a one, what's in there, that um, four silicon. If I put another 50, uh, let's split this silicon just to show you. Um, split half. Stick that in there. That has not come through and stacked with that. It's still only four silicon. Um, if I go that way, it probably has come back to it. That's 25 I've just put in. It has not all to stack them. They're going in as separate stacks. The vending machine will store up to a hundred stacks um, like that. But the beauty of the vending machine is you can actually see what's in there. So silver, volatiles, uranium, uh, silicon, silicon, and you can vend whatever you want out of it. Why aren't you vending? You got no power. That's why I'm not vending. Um, Anyway, you saw me vending it previously. It's. I don't have got enough cable on me. Have I got enough cable on me to do it? Is this demonstration? Yeah, plenty. I should have built it close to the power supply. Never mind. Uh, let's quickly power it up. Oh no, I don't have enough cabling. Oh, yes, I do. I just hit the wrong button. Um, oh, I've got to do this without uh, disrupting the power to 
Yes, it, it worked. If I cut this cable here or here, it would have disrupted the power to that and it would have gone into a shutdown. So this is on now, yeah? On, yep. Yeah. I know you can look through it even though it's not on, but it's got no power, but hey. But now it's it's vending, it, it's got power, I can vend whatever I want out of it. So I want the coal, I hit that, I get the coal out. Um, again, if I want to get, say, the the volatiles out, pick the volatiles, hit them, they get vended. And so on and so forth. So you can actually pick what you want to vend out of this. At the minute I'm just going to take everything back out of it because I'm going to deconstruct it again. That's a 25, can go with there, it'll do. You can go there. And that's a silver. So that's everything out of there now. Actually, they can stack, aren't they? That's everything out of there now, so I can just deconstruct it. Um, that's why you, can use, why you want to use a vending machine. You can actually pick what you get out of it. Um, you can't do that with a silo. So, have I got power to all of these? I think I have, yes. So I'll show you here on this one, because it's not got anything in it. Um, with the silos, it's very dependent on what you put in and the order to come out. So put uranium in. No, uh, I need to turn it on, bear with me. I put drop one uranium in and I drop a 43 silicon in and a 50 silicon and a 7 silver. The only way they are going to come out is in the, the order that went in. So at this little time you've got four stacks in there, but I can't see what those stacks are. So you've got to eject them. And you see the first one's uranium, next one's silicon, another silicon, and then the silver. And that was the order that went in. Now these can hold up to 600 stacks, which is great. That's a huge amount of storage. Um, but you can't pick what's coming out. So they're only really useful to, as a buffer, uh, where you've got the same item coming in all the time, or a storage way of sorting it for the same item, as I've done here. I mean, could you imagine the case where you've got everything in there and then you drop, I don't know, a coal in there which you urgently need and it's a 600 item, and you've got to eject 599 stacks to get the one you want? That, that's just crazy. So these are good, but you've got to use them with the sorters and the stackers, or... They have to just have a single source input, uh, a single type input. So where it could be useful is over here. So all we get out of these is dirty ore. Now we want these running 24-7. I don't want these waiting on my uh, centrifuge, com uh, my combustion centrifuge. So I could put a stacker here, a silo here, and just have these feeding into the silo. And then, as and when they're needed for the combustion chamber, they just come out. And by doing that, I could see what is in this silo, how many units we've got, and if we're getting close to the limit, turn these off and save some power. And you know what, I might in fact do that in the future, but for now I'm not going to bother. I know I've got some stacked in there. I don't know how many actually. Let me just... little experiment again. Um, spanner, where's my spanner? There it is. It's just all right. So it's not stacked all the way back. What about that one? Okay, so it's not even stacked back to there. So there is a stack. Come on, come on. There is a a stack of um, dirty ore in here, but it's not going too far back. So I'm happy with that. If I build more deep miners, that may not be the case. I may quite quickly uh, get a backlog. How are we doing? Uh, one, two and a half, three, six, fifty, seven. So I can either you can have up to a thousand grams, I believe, of, of um, ores in here. No, about seven hundred and something. 
So I move away from that, it's really noisy. That's part of the reason I built all these walls. It just cuts out the noise so much. And I made that change, so that's another change I made. Um, and I spent quite a bit of time building a lot of these silos. I do need some more stackers and sorters, as I said. But before we get to that, uh, let's just check in here. I'm unhappy because I'm dirty. So in here, what I've built is an oven. Um, now, the reason I built the oven, I want to show you something. A recent update has added more foods types. So you've got baked potatoes, loaves of bread. You're now getting things like cakes, but they take uh, sugar. And chocolate cake, which takes cocoa. So they've added sugar beet and uh cocoa plants to the game now I don't have any and I don't believe you can get them when you start trading and I can buy them from the trader um, however I have made a couple of bits uh, I made a loaf of bread and you see that's got partially used um, but it's still got 312 nutrition so that's a huge amount of nutrition I print a few potatoes um, the easy way to do that now is that just uh, Drag them across. I split off two, just for demonstration purposes. Um, close that. Where before we were having to bake everything one at a time in the microwave, now we don't. If I go to bake potato, put them both in there, click go. And I'll just print them one after the other. There's one. And there's the other. So that makes uh, making your food a lot quicker. Um, other things you can make is a cereal bar. So for that you need 50 grams of flour. I don't think I've got any flour on me. Um, I've got any wheat in here. Do I use all the wheat? I have some wheat in here. So to get flour, you need to use it in the reagent processor. Ooh, let me stick in baked potatoes in here for now. I take a lot of space um, and for every wheat you produce every wheat you put into here you get five grams of flour so if I put um, let's break out four another four how many is it 20 grams 50 grams so I need uh, another nine tell you what let's do it that way there's a the nine stick them in there close that turn it on there's 45 grams of flour there's the other five grams that's 50 grams and I can now make a cereal bar. Now that's quite Hydration critical. that's quite wasteful for the wheat because that only gives you a nutrition of thirty. A loaf of bread gives you takes two hundred grams, so four times as much flour, um, and five grams of oil, but it gives you three hundred and forty nutrition. So you're better off making a loaf of bread. What else have we got in here? Like I said, I've got the chocolate cake. I haven't got any milk. Uh, the corn, you can do the same. Throw lots of corn in. They'll just spit them out one after the other. Same with the pumpkins. But I haven't got any pumpkin seeds left because I destroyed them. Uh, and mushrooms. And rice. Yeah, again, just throw them all together. French fries. What do we need for French fries? One potato and five milligrams of oil. Sorry, five milliliters of oil. Let's see. Uh, do. How's my help? You know what? Let's. Let's just consume these. Oh, <laughs> didn't use a full one. I'm on 0%. Come on, use it. Okay, it's like a new. How frustrating. <laughs> Close that for a minute. And get some water. Oh, there we go, I've used it. 
Something's flashing an arrow, I can hear it. What are you flashing an arrow for? Line 5, what's missing? CO2 sensor, you're not connected. Ah, I bet you've got a blown cable. Yep, this is what I mean. So this is all on the main bus, and that cable has blown, and I haven't spotted it. So I need to repair that quickly. Thankfully, I have a um, spare heavy cable. So remove the old one. You don't get anything back when you remove the old one. It's gone. It's dead. There we go. Now, I didn't spot that earlier. Uh, let's place that. There we go. And our fans come on because we must be below. Um, yeah, CO2 is below 10%. That'll bring it back to 10%. The pollution's up in here, so I need to get another filter. Uh, nine. Yeah, that'll turn off in a minute. What's the pressure doing? 65. It's okay. Yeah, I'll just flicker on and off now as the uh, CO2 spreads throughout the room and slowly reaches 10% in the room. Yeah, that'll, that'll sort itself out. It'll just now bounce itself out. Hmm, that was interesting. I didn't spot that before. Um, I've put this in here again to split off the power needs for my um, cooking stations. Simply because I didn't want to have to replace all that cabling. I must remember to build a permanent one of these as well. I lost myself mining. Um, I went quite away. I thought, oh, I'll use my tablet to return to my base. Only to find that that was run out of power. And um, I didn't know which way my base was. Thankfully, I, I worked it out by seeing I'd dug some holes. I sort of head in a direction where I'd been digging the most holes and I found the base. But it was lucky. It's very easy to get lost on these worlds, which is why you need the beacon going. Um, right, what else was I going to do? Uh, close lock. So yeah, anyway, the oven. That's what the oven's for. You can make better foods in the oven. And once we have the trader and we get cocoa and we get sugar and eggs and things, you can make even more stuff. Um, it kind of makes the microwave redundant. You do still need the reagent to make flour and uh, oil. And you still do need the cannery to make cans of food, which you can see I've done here. I had loads of baked potatoes when I was trialing it. And I turned them all into uh, cans of baked uh, um, french fries. How much oil have I got there? Five millilitres of oil. Okay, and a potato I wanted, didn't I? Let's do that. Just dry again. I just want to try these french fries. I don't know how much they give you. Oh. Where are your french fries? Required five oil, one potato. One, five oil, one potato. Set it going. I should warn you that if you don't get the right mixture in there, you get a reagent coming out. I don't think I've got any here. No, I haven't. Uh, which is that ground gooey ball. You can't do anything with it. I haven't worked out how you can reprocess that one. It doesn't work through the centrifuge. I tried it. So French fries, what do they give us? 80 nutrition. Uh, that's not very good either. How much does a baked potato give us? That's 4%. Oh no, 140. Uh, okay, so it's better than a baked potato on its own. Um, yeah. I'm running out of space. So they might just have to go in there and I'll have to remember to eat them. So anyway, that's the oven. Uh, again, it's a good addition. However, however, it is quite expensive to build. I've closed my helmet, haven't I? Yes. Let's quicker run outside. How's my power doing? That's okay. How's my light doing? Oh, I need to run out, so I'll change that one. It's when you've got lots of batteries charging here, it tends to blow these cables, by the way. And because these are all fully charged, it wasn't blowing it when expected. Um, 
So I'll just try and demonstrate it. So that's okay, that's okay. How are you doing? 97, quickly charge you up. How are you doing? 78, you're done. How are you doing? 89. These little batteries charge up really quickly, you see. And that needs a labeler, 94. And that's everything recharged. And for shit and giggles, I'll do that battery as well. Um, okay. Oven, oven, oven. I think it's this one. Automated oven. So it takes 10 gold, 15 copper, 25 steel, 5 constantan, and 10 sold. So I mean, it's not horrendously expensive, but it's not the cheapest thing either. Sorry guys, I, want, I need to go and get a shower. It's, it's annoying me, the flashing and the, the unhappy face. That's how I look when I fell over and hurt my back the other week. Big unhappy face. It's only just getting better. It's been nearly two weeks. It's crazy. Um, let's dump all this in here. Turn my light on so I can see what I'm doing. I think get a shower. Now there is a, a powered shower which takes electricity. I don't know if there's any real difference between the two, if I'm honest. I've not noticed anything. Uh, I've used a power shower in another playthrough and it didn't seem to make any difference. I may have to investigate that a bit more. Maybe it increases your mood a bit quicker, I don't know. But yeah, I didn't see the point on it. Right, okay. I could do some more lighting in here, really, because it's pitch black over here. Helmet shut, isn't it? Helmet shut. Sleeve here. Uh, one last thing I will quickly show you is the programming for this. Uh, just because I haven't shown you that. It's nothing overly complicated. Just grab the chip, plug it in, import. I don't need the chip in there to show you. Click edit. So all I'm doing is a fuel mixer, which is uh, that there. That's a fuel mixer. The fuel analyzer, the O2 analyzer, and the volatiles analyzer. That's a fuel analyzer. That's the O2 analyzer, and that's a volatile analyzer. I've left these. Even though you've got the numbers from here, I've left these gauges here because they're a quick, easy visual reference. You know, you suck them straight away and go, oh yeah, low on power, uh, low on pressure. I don't need it on there because I know that one's always going to be sort of four to five bar, uh, megapascals. Um, back in here, so yeah, so the main thing I'm doing here is uh, make sure the fuel fuel mixer is off. Load the pressure on the fuel analyzer, then make sure that it's uh, above 4,000 kilopascals. Let me start it again. <laughs> so the way this works is I make sure the fuel mixer is off, because I don't want it on at this point. Um, load R0 with the fuel analyzer pressure. So check the pressure in the fuel feed to the combustion chamber, combustion centrifuge, sorry. Um, if that value is less than 4,000, and that's 4,000 kilopascals, um, then jump to fuel on. Else, if it's above 4,000, jump to main. And that will just keep going through to that's less than 4,000. Fuel on. Um, again, just wait one cycle. Load the O2 analyzer. Check that's above 100 kilopascals. Same with the volatile. If they are below 100, then jump back to main and at that point it would just loop around like this until that pressure or that pressure or and that pressure are above 100. So it won't actually turn the fuel mixer on unless these three cases are met. That the, f the fuel pressure into the combustion chamber is below 4000 kilopascals and that the input pressure from the O2 side 
and the volatile side are above 100 kilopascals. If all three of those are met, then it would allow you to turn the fuel mixture on. And then it just basically runs through, keeps looping through this until the either the fuel mixture reaches 5,000 kilopascals or 5 megapascals, or one of these drops below 100, in which case it will jump back to main and turn the, that instantly turn the mixer off. I hope that makes sense. If not, leave a comment. I'll try and explain a bit better. Quick up, uh, more. Another quick thing I want to mention is that they have increased the width of this script field. I think it used to be 75 characters, and it's now 90, which is a bonus because you know some of the bigger programs do go off the right hand side. Um, so that was useful. That was another recent change the developments have made. Okay. And that's what I've been doing. That's where I'm up to, basically. Um, I'll leave him there for a minute. I can't bother to take him. Uh, no, he's in my way. I do need to take him apart. Um, white clippers. Uh, hand drill. Hand drill. Crowbar. Hand drill. And he's gone. I may use that with the um, Amy bot when I do it. Right, so what I've got left to do on this, I need to... Well, I need to build another three silos to begin with. I don't think I've got enough material to do that. Um, SDB silo. Gold, copper and steel. I'm missing all of it. Okay, so I need to make some steel. And now the beauty is I can go... What do I need for steel? Oh yeah. Three stacks of iron. And... Do, do, do come down. Where's coal? Oh, I'm going to need coal there, have I? Oh, rats. <laughs> At the minute, if coal or silver or uranium gets put in the system, it comes out there and falls down here. That's all it does. I do have coal over here though. I know I do. So coal. Let's see if we get enough pressure. Oh yeah, there's plenty of pressure and temperature. Uh, oh, it's a 22. I don't want a 22. Are you 50? And then you two. Yeah, as you can see, the reason I've got so much silicon, silver and things is because of this not sorting them yet. I could put the silicon back in, I guess. Temperature drop down, temperature drop down, come on, come up. There we go, let's eject that. Let's see... Steel, copper, and what was the other one? You. Steel, copper, and gold. Gold. I've only got one gold. And. Copper. Later on you can connect these up to an automated system so that um, you literally go up to a set of dials, dial in what you want, hit go, it's all connected through the printers and everything, and the furnace, and, and it'll just print it for you. Um, that's quite a long way off though. Uh, copper. No, let me throw that one first. That done, copper and get gold. I still got gold here, don't know if I have. No, I used it all. Okay, um you yeah. 
and steel. So I've got enough there to make another two. I need more gold. I do have gold in one of these. Nothing in you. Oh, there's plenty of gold in there. The developers are also working on ways of programming these to make it easier apparently. Um, probably a way a bit out my depth if I'm honest. I'm not a programmer as such. I do struggle with the programming. I'm more of an engineer. Um, so I go. And then we will get the next three of these set up. Um, and then I need sorters and the stackers. And all the cabling to go with them. So you know what. Let's just... How much have we got there? Another six. Come here you. Come here. Go in. Spit that out when it's ready. There we go. Go in there. Need a load of cabling. There's our first silo. No, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to do the um, sorters because I can get these done quicker. How many do I need? I need seven of them. Three of them initially. Go on, spit that one out. Sort up my air tank. Okay, with pressure. Oh yeah, I need a pollution filter. Go on, go on. A vending machine can go in there. That's kind of stairwells. I was just looking at some stairwells I want to move up. So I want to work, build up here as well. That's 50 cables. That will do for now. There's a third stacker. Sorter. <laughs> Only three stackers. Any iron in here? No iron. Okay, we need some more iron, so it's going to smelt some iron quickly. By the way, to throw it's Q. And the longer you press it, the longer the throw. Oh, I don't want that. I want just one big lump of ore. Don't matter. Look, that's fine. Um, go there. Start that. Probably do with a stack around here if I'm honest. Okay. So same as before, I need to 
Um, stackers. That's right. That needs to go there. Gets there. Gets there. Gets there. Oh, come on. Something silly. There. There. Sorters. Uh, make sure you've got the right way around. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. to bring us across here let me just go and turn off that stack because I'm stacking under building under them otherwise <laughs> right I may have made a few too many never mind won't go to waste I'll use them somewhere them all and there's one on there anymore oh, 37 yeah there might be a few too many right what's it doing I want to come across from here don't I One stuck used. Um, yeah, I turned on the wall there so the bits wouldn't go flying way over here. Uh, it didn't stop them going miles, I must admit, but it, it did stop them going too far. The oars and things were not coming through the system. I need the spanner to move that, that, and that. So two fed round to there. So you so you I can't actually turn the switch on there, I don't think. Uh, let me try with it on my hand. Hmm, that may be problematic. I may have to quickly... Oh yeah, I need to set these to 50 as well. I know I've laid this out slightly differently to the other side, which is why I can't get to this, but it doesn't really matter. It's it's still the same principle. There we go, anything else will just come out of there, so let's just um So it'll just go get thrown down now. Um, um, I'll connect the suit to the ices later. Probably just do that offline. So that's that. That's the stackers. 
that's powered I need cabling I've got cabling here they're all wired in yep so I need to run the cabling up to this so all the way along Actually, might foul on that. Um, anything coming up there might foul on the cabling. There and that one. Let's bring us down in the corner. is this one this is silver have I renamed this yet silver silo yeah silver sorter you are well, silver you are Coal, coal sorter, which means your uranium. Uranium. Confirm. Okay, um, I have some bits on me, so I want somewhere to just be able to dump things out my hand into the stacking system. So let's quickly take you out. And I want a junction. like so and then I want a inlet like so so now I can dump all these things in my hand into here and it will be sorted out to the appropriate silo sorted and stacked and I don't need to worry about it anymore and all I'm left with is the ices so that's everything in there Oh yeah, quite a bit of coal. I knew I had quite a bit of coal. Get a close up might help. Oh, I can't jump straight into there, can I? Oh no. And that's everything at my mining belt. Backpack, nothing in there, that's an all. No. And all that have now be sorted. Where am I? So uranium, there'll not be anything in there because only had eight uranium. It's still in the stacker. The coal should have a load. 
Where's the coal gone? Silver? Ah, i tell you what the problem is. I haven't set it up. Something just all been dumped. It all come out here? No, I would have thought it come out here. Um, um, um. Because you're not turned on. That might be a blessing in disguise. Uh, quickly do something. Have I got a hopper? I thought I printed some hoppers. I just run out of power. Oh my god, I have. Oh no, why are you not draining down? I don't know why, because you connected the wrong bloody power adapter, that's why. Um, I've just run out of power. Can you add them and Eve it? All those, um, All those batteries. One of them's not connected, right? So I can actually connect that properly. It'll get them running quickly. The sun's coming up anyway. It's starting to charge the batteries. I may have to increase my um, storage. Electrical storage, anyway. There we go. And now let me go and get some coal. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't think I'd run out of uh, power that quick. Oh, and the coal's in here, isn't it? Oh yeah, and Groney's going. Um, before it destroys itself. Um, 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 what's going to do? What was I going to? Oh, some coal there. That will do is to start. I may have to get a display and a warning sign up to tell me when I'm running out of um, power. And some... Um, did that run? And some ICs and logic. <sighs> is he still groaning? He is, isn't he? Computer. Right, the reason I didn't filter before was because I hadn't set them up on here. So if I scroll down... Coal sorter... So what you can do with this, rather than having to use the wheel all the time, is if you just put the cursor... You can't do it with the alt. It doesn't work with the alt. Oh, it does. It's very slow. Yeah, but I've put the cursor over it, on this little tab, clicking, holding, and dragging all the way to the bottom and then coming to the left and then going back up and you find the one you want um, coal uranium uranium and then silver Silver. There we go. Right, let me print that hopper. Ah, 
that's a two. Right, what do I need to go with it? Iron sheets. Iron sheets got iron sheets. Hydration critical. It's gonna have to wait hydration. Right. It's sort of falling out the bottom. No, it's stuck in there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was just a bit of coal I got uh, held up in the system. So I can now just dismantle this again. I just didn't want everything flying across the landscape. Although I've lost that coal that went down into the ground. Never mind. I'm hoping it wasn't much. Oh no, it was everything. And it might be. I've only got these turned on, that's why. That didn't help either. So. Right. Try again. Take two. So it's sorted all that stuff out. Um, now take a stone. Right. <laughs> Come on, brain work. Um, silver. That's in my backpack. I can dump that in here now. Silver, silver. And I want the coal because I'm going to stick it in my sort of fuel generator. Try and get the batteries charged up as quick as possible. Oh no, the flat out. There we go, the full. Okay, I just have to keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the power consumption. So that is all of my... Oh yeah, I put some stairs in here just to make it easy to get back in. Um, that is all of the... Um, ores now being sorted. So everything that comes out of the combustion chamber Um, when I eject, that will all get sorted correctly. Um, I'll be able to tie Amy to this once I get the ice, the next three ice, uh, ice silos set up. And that'll be everything I need. I'll build rockets and start trying to mine the rockets. Then I'll need some more silos because there's different kinds of ice that you mine from space. Just let that run. It'll sort itself out eventually. I never did create a pollutants filter, did I? Yeah, see I'm pulling three kilowatts. That is the problem. Let's use that up, I don't want it's just take up space. Yeah. Um, then I'll get through these baked potatoes because they take the space. I'm certainly growing more than enough food for keep myself alive. So filters, pollution. So there's various filters as well. So there's a very basic filters here. Um, so what I want, I want the pollutant filter. The basic one is five grams of iron, and that's for all of them. Um, then you've got the medium filters, which are at the bottom. 
and they take iron, silver and constantine. Well, got all that somewhere. Um, there's a constantine. There's a silver. And they will last a bit longer. And then there is the heavy filters. Oh, there's a diesel. Sorry, I'm just going to quickly show you this while it's here. So another change that they recently made is around converting uninsulated pipes to insulated pipes. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll just pick that filter up for now. Um, and then the heavy filter, again, it takes more stuff. This one needs Invon Stellite. I don't know if I've got Invon Stellite. A Stellite. We've got Invon over here. Invo. And that will create the really heavy filter. Um, stick all this. Oh, close that. Stick all this back in here. Stop that. What I do want is a heavy O2 filter. I always do a two of them. Yep, so we'll let printing. Let me just go back in and sort the filters out in here. So let me stick the heavy filter, and you can O2 filter can go. Sorry, the nitrous oxide filter. Can go in there. I don't need that at the moment. I do need to swap this battery out though. I could replace this with a atmospheric unit filter like one of these and have it blowing outside but they're quite power hungry. This is just a fairly simple way of doing it and it doesn't need to be on all the time. Uh, where is my pad? There we go. The O2 is yeah, sorry the pollutant is going down. We've got no nitrous oxide in here. That would be the green NO2, N2O. I think it is. What is it? What is it? N2O, yeah. It would look like that symbol there anyway. Just need to make sure we get the pollutant out here, and that's going. I've probably built the more than enough filters now. Why? Oh, oh yes, battery just put in there. Okay, I've got two filters there. That can be recycled, that can be recycled. Um, you can be recycled. Always have the one that's counting down the lowest number to the left hand side. That's a easy way of doing this. You can be recycled and you can go in there. I do that actually, so I use the simple filters first. Turn this on. Dump these used filters. Where's the other two? Turn that on quickly. You're going. Turn you up a bit. Even at the lowest setting, it, um, it processes all. So just by turning it up, it just processes it quicker. So that's something to remember. Um, so yeah, so all of this is now going. I'm all sorting all that. That's going. That's working. Um, let me just turn these for trying to save a bit of power. And I've got some really power-hungry devices running now. So next session, what I'm going to have to do is I am going to have to um, improve my storage, power storage, and power generation. Um, it's no good having a full set of blue batteries during the day 
like so um because it means I'm wasting storage from the uh, solar cells um so when that the sun comes up that one charge very quickly and then it's just waste of power I need more batteries of storage to store that excess and see me through the night when there's no sun up and maybe print some more wind turbines although to be honest they can be 20 watts which is nothing unless it's a storm coming they don't really generate anything um, so that's it for this session guys thanks for watching please hit the like and subscribe if you'd like to support me i do have a patreon channel um, the link is in the description um, if not don't worry about it um, i do read the comments i do respond to comments i'm just checking things while i'm here by the way um, but yeah thanks for watching this is dragon 5 gamer wishing you good night